Creating content for blogs takes a lot of dedication, preparation, thought, and creativity. Building an email newsletter takes a lot of the same. Let's say you want to do both because, as a creator, you want to share what you create. But how do you find time for both? That's where RSS campaigns come in. Today, we're learning about RSS campaigns, what they are, how to set them up, and how you can use them to increase engagement and build community. Now, what is an RSS campaign? Imagine this. Every time you publish a new blog post, it magically lands in your subscriber's inbox. No manual sending, no forgotten updates. That's the power of an RSS campaign. But it's more than just automation. Think of all the time you save. Instead of fussing around with emails, you can focus on what matters, creating awesome content, connecting with your audience, and maybe even taking a well-deserved coffee break. So how do you set up an RSS campaign? And there are a few ways that you can do this. MailerLite gives you two choices. Option one, standalone RSS campaign. This is perfect if you want subscribers to only get updates when you publish a new blog post. It sends automatically with each new post, keeping things super simple. Option two, RSS block in your newsletter. If you already have a regular newsletter, this lets you include a section that pulls the latest blog posts. You can customize how it looks and even choose if you want to show older posts to new subscribers. Remember, RSS campaigns send based on when you publish. So if you take a break from posting, no email goes out. Now, since this video is about setting up a standalone RSS campaign, we'll focus on that. In your MailerLite dashboard, go to Campaigns and click Create Campaign. Under Campaign Type, select RSS Campaign. First up, the good news. The basic campaign setup is just like any other email. Enter your campaign details, give it a name, add a catchy subject line, and choose your recipients. Now, let's dive into those RSS settings. The first thing you'll see is the RSS feed URL. There are some times when the URL is as simple as your domain slash RSS or slash feed. For the sake of this video, I'm going to add a URL from WordPress. Most of the time, however, we'll want to check with our page source to verify the URL. To find this, simply right click an empty space on the website you'd like an RSS feed for. Then click View Page Source or Inspect Element. The exact wording may vary depending on your browser. If you're on a Mac and using Safari and don't see Inspect Element when you right-click, you'll need to adjust some settings. With Safari open, click Safari in the top left corner, navigate to Settings, and click the Advanced tab. At the bottom of the window, check the box that says Show Features for Web Developers. Once you do that, you'll see Inspect Element when you right-click. Once you've got the page source open, hit Control F on a PC or Command F on a Mac and type RSS. The URL that you're looking for will look something like this. You'll take that URL and paste it into the RSS feed URL field in MailerLite. Next, how often do you want updates to go out? Daily? Weekly? Pick your days and select the time that works best for you and your audience. In the New Post section, Check the box so only posts published after this campaign launches will be sent. That way, your subscribers are only seeing your newest content. If you or someone on your team wants to be notified when a campaign has been sent, pop that email below. The next step is design. You can set up your own design using our drag and drop editor or select from one of our pre-made templates. Let's grab the blog updates template for now. Once you select the template, you'll be taken to the drag and drop editor. Navigate to the blog and RSS section on the left sidebar and scroll down till you see the two RSS blocks at the bottom. Select which you'd like to use and drag it into your email. You'll notice that it automatically populates with content, and this is pulled from the URL that we entered in the RSS settings window previously. So yours will likely look a bit different depending on what content you have in your blog. Hit save and then hit done editing and you'll see the review screen. Double check everything, then hit send, and your RSS campaign is in motion. In this video, we went over what RSS campaigns are and how to set them up, the secret weapon for keeping your audience connected to your latest content. RSS campaigns can help boost engagement by automatically delivering your latest posts directly to subscribers' inboxes, ensuring your audience stays informed and engaged. 
By consistently providing fresh content, you keep readers coming back and build a stronger community around your brand. Let MailerLite make the technical stuff easy so you can work on the heart of your strategy. Remember to like and subscribe for more of the best tips in email marketing.